BlackRock seeding their ETF with millions of dollars of Bitcoin is literally nothing in comparison to what's about to happen. And we're going to be discussing that along with the news that you guys need to know. So it's a new year. Things are heating up. Things are getting crazy. And we have been already banking in the profits from this run because, you know, we like to position ourselves early. As you know, on the channel, we spoke about a trade that Bitcoin was about to break up, right? Because of the ETF approval. Now, of course, I spoke about it in the Patreon first, but I also told uh, this channel right here that I was making the trade. Now, this trade is up 162% with a 40x long right now. I believe that this is going to get much more frothy, so I'm keeping it open. But we've also spoken about on this channel Ethereum and Solana, both making incredible gains because I saw bullish flags happening on Solana, same thing happening on Ethereum and a wedge happening over on Bitcoin. So if you want to join the group, the link is down there in the description to the Patreon and we can make some amazing gains in this bull market. And guys, I have one more thing to announce today. We have just released access to HG Access. Now this is basically giving you unprecedented access to the crypto markets behind the curtains. People don't get to see this information and we're going to be providing alpha reports on altcoins, utility coins, micro caps, meme coins, pre-launches and narrative plays. You can see here in the pre-launch, we are joining together with a bunch of big influencers from 30,000 subscribers all the way up to 300,000 and we're getting insight access and giving it to you guys. No one's done this before and you're going to get access to this. So there is a link in my description to HG access the Patreon there if you do want to access this, okay? You're going to get so much alpha here. It's going to be wild, all right? With that said, looking at Bitcoin, okay? So we had this wedge and trading between this wedge here on the channel and in the Patreon. We jumped into the trade around these regions here and we've made some very, very nice gains. This was a textbook play here. You could take profits if you want to play this much more on the short term, else you can wait for a potential retest, which we're in right now, and then heading upwards. If we get more good news in the market about the ETF, I believe that we're going to continue upwards, okay? So if you do want to trade this, there is also links to Margex down there in the description and other exchanges that I personally use. Now, like I said, $10 million worth of Bitcoin. They are about to acquire it on January 3rd. This is in two days, guys, 48 hours before it's potentially too late for you to ever get Bitcoin again at the price it is today. I don't know for sure, but $10 million is nothing, guys, nothing at all. The amount seeded means literally nothing. BlackRock's clients will likely deploy billions into their spot ETF if approved. So will Fidelity clients and all others. OK, this is, of course, just opinion, not financial advice, but I don't think people understand the amount of money that could be flowing into Bitcoin once we get this approval. It's going to be absolutely wild. And look at this. Mike Novogratz, the CEO of Galaxy and the spot ETF applicant. So we know they have an application in just tweeted. Big things are coming. I don't really understand if this is not getting approved. Would he really be saying this? It looks like this comment right here could be the truth, right? In his opinion, all spot ETFs are approved already. They haven't announced it yet. No business will advertise something to this magnitude and not be approved. Now, I kind of agree with him. All signs are pointing towards this being approved. We have to stay rational in this market, okay? I'm not dumping all my money into the market, but I am preparing for it with my long position on Bitcoin, my long position on Ethereum, my long on Solana, and a few other coins that we are long over in the Patreon. But I think good things are coming, and we might find out in the next two days to a week. Now, something interesting about the spot ETF, right? is Coinbase is actually the custodian for nine of these ETFs. And Coinbase says it is extensively prepared for the spot Bitcoin ETF approvals by the SEC. So Brian Armstrong believes that we're about to get approved. He is also in control of pretty much all of the Bitcoin that is going into these ETFs, right? Grayscale, BlackRock, Bitwise, Wisdom Tree, Invesco, Valkyrie, Hashdex, Franklin Templeton. He's in charge of it, all right? So guys, it could be a play here to be paying attention to Coinbase as a company, right? You might want to check out their stock. I'm sure it's up loads now, but they are going to be in charge of all, essentially all of the ETFs Bitcoin, all right? So this is huge, huge for this company. And Brian Armstrong is about to become 
even richer. Now let's check out a recap of 2023 and use this knowledge as a way to figure out how we can make the most amount of profit in 2024. US judge rules XRP is not a security. People have already forgotten about this. Personally, I have added to my XRP long in anticipation for at some point XRP to explode. BlackRock says crypto is digital gold. Remember guys, digital gold. Even Fed Jerome Powell says crypto appears to have staying powers as an asset class. CZ resigned from Binance and it sent the price of BNB down. But guys, have you seen the price of BNB recently? In the last year, of course, it went down when we had this news all the way down to a price of $200, now at $300. So guys, again, this is the sort of narrative we want to be paying attention to, right? Does big news here happen to pro projects that doesn't necessarily rely on a CEO being in charge, right? BNB could have been a great trade. Remember, Grayscale won its lawsuit against the SEC. Coinbase sued the SEC. Hong Kong recognized cryptocurrency as property. And just yesterday, BlackRock named the crooks that are JP Morgan as authorized participants of Spot Bitcoin ETF, of the Spot Bitcoin ETF. Even though JP Morgan said that Bitcoin and crypto is only for criminals, he is now the authorized participant for BlackRock. Meaning that in his own words, he admitted that he is a criminal. With that said, just to remind you guys, the access to HG Access is now open with a link down there in the description. We can see here on the winner's board, right? This has just been over essentially the last week. We've got Kokinu up 41%. We've got Husky up 43%. Shiba AVAX 50%. Baby Grok 117%. 20% pump on S Fund and so on so forth. So again, guys, if you want to come and join, the link is down there in my description, and I'll see you lot in the next one. Peace.